Hello fellow Minecrafters. It's Minecraft Grand, the geeky Minecrafter, coming at you with another video. Today I've got a new project and I thought I'd share it with you. I'm here on a different server. Uh, I believe it's uh, pronounced Archimond. I'm not entirely sure of that pronunciation, so if I'm getting it wrong, I apologize. Um, I've run over here, I've set up a really minor uh, food production system over here so I could have, uh, you know, have something to eat. Uh, fenced it in a little bit so I'd be able to, uh, you know, grow some sheep and some, some cows. But the project that I have in mind today is an automated har auto harvesting pumpkin and mellow farm. Good grave. Pumpkin and mellow. <laughs> Really? Hello. Let me in. Hello. Knock, knock. Can you hear me now? There we go. Cha. Okay, so I do have some food going uh, together, but what I really need is a, a bona fide full-time uh, food production. And I, I like pumpkin pie because pumpkin pie will give you like, I don't know, four meat sickle bars all at once. So what I've been doing is down here I have put together a pumpkin level, okay? Uh, I've got auto harvesting. See, you press a button here. Pistons drive up. Harvest your uh, pumpkins. You just collect them and put them away. So I've got a row of ten on both sides, and I realize that I want melons too because melon melon is one of those things. Those melon slices. Uh, one melon slice equals one meat sickle. So if you're pretty close, you don't want to waste a pumpkin pie, which will give you four. You just want a couple of melon slices to bring it back up. You know, uh, watermelons are good for that. So I started clearing this out. I put a line right here. I started clearing this out, and I realized that this would be a good uh, this would be a good tutorial. Now I'll do a couple of jump cuts because, gosh knows, you know, clearing clearing out all this stone is is pretty boring. So I'll check back in with you when that's all done. Okay, the room is all cleared out, and just to let you know the dimensions, it is seven across. Oops, I did not mean to do that. So it's seven across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's 12 long. Uh, I'm not counting this because this is the back wall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There we go. So the next thing you gotta do is I like a little border around mine, one end. Uh, I need to, um, I want to be able to walk without walking on the dirt that, you know, the pumpkin's potentially growing on. So you do two down. Oh, I should mention, I have spent, uh, I don't know, the last 20 or so minutes um, uh, building up the resources I'm going to need for this. Skip over one, do two down again. So for this project, you're going to need uh, 20 pistons, 20 sticky pistons, I should say. Uh, 40 dirt, no, I'm sorry, 80 dirt. Uh, 40 on both sides, oops, I should have left that there. Okay, so that one's got to go. Now I need some pistons, sticky pistons. Oh, where did I put them? Are they here? Oh, good gravy. I think maybe I left them upstairs. Oh, I bet not. I bet they're downstairs. Dead commit. Ay, 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 ay. Well, okay. We will run downstairs and get those. This will give me a chance to show you a couple of other things that I've done. Um, of course, this is the melon level, melon and seeds. By the way, there's the redstone for that. I'll show you that in just a few minutes. I have added a second level to the mine, uh, mostly because I wanted to get my, uh, my portal out of here. I, I had originally put it right here, went into the nether, and synced it all up. But gosh, it was loud when I was standing here. So I've created a small egg farm that is growing me some, you know, they're laying me some eggs. I've created a chicken cooker that has uh, some cedar chickens right up here. Or I guess I should say breeder chickens that live right in here. 
And as they lay eggs, it goes into the hopper. The hopper puts it uh, into the dispenser, and it fires off. Okay, this is the second level of the mine. Again, I just began it. Um, I haven't really, you know, cut any channels up here. I mostly just wanted to move the portal up here. Uh, now with this, this is great news. I hope I'm not going to regret going through this portal. Uh, here we go. Okay, so as it turns out, the coordinates to reach my mine coincide with this little area that is sun goddesses and uh, I don't know the other, the name of the other person that lives here. Oh, PBT probably. Um, and up here is the entrance to the gold farm. So, son, I apologize. I had to knock a hole out here to be able to get out here because this is where the coordinates were that led to my mine. And by the way, if you get your coordinates exactly right when you merge them, when you sync them, then one of the things that happens is you're able to move it slightly. In this case, I moved it straight up from where it was. It was down below. Uh, and it still sinks because height doesn't matter as much as the X and Z coordinates. Okay, so let's go get the pistons. That's what we came down for. Uh, crafted. I need uh, 20, so about half of those. Uh, I have the dirt upstairs. Oh, I need a couple more hoppers. There's my comparator. I tell you what, let's let's um. I need chests to make hoppers too, don't I? Okay, so I need two hoppers. There's three. I always like having a little extra. I need 20 sticky pistons. I need 80 dirt. I don't have enough melon seeds yet. Uh, the farm won't be able to grow, you know, full capacity until I've grown a few and converted those to melon seeds. So let's go back and finish this. I'm pretty stoked. I do like being self-sufficient. Now I'm fairly new on this server, uh, and thank you, Sun Goddess, for inviting me to play. Uh, I'm fairly new, and one of the things I'm doing is is mining, of course, because you need resources to do anything. I have explored the area around my base um, a little bit. I, I guess I should say around my mine a little bit. And uh, filling in the Dyne map, uh, which is like a dynamic mapping software. It's great stuff. Let's grab some more dirt. Okay. All right, do I have everything I need? I have pistons. Redstone repeaters, I need 20 of those. Uh, don't need a comparator. Okay, you know what? Let's. Uh, I think that's going to do it. If not, I'm not too far down here. This is the good news. I do like building things on a vertical axis so I can quickly reach all those. It also means that while I'm in here, this entire chunk is loaded. And if you'll remember what's at the bottom of this ladder, the chicken cooker. So even while I'm up here working, the chicken cookers are working, which is kind of sweet, I'm just saying. Okay, so sticky pistons along the outside edge. Oh, Skadios. I don't think I have my axe. Oh, good grief. Handy. Okay, so there's the three. I'm sorry, there's the 20. So I also need this. Uh oh. Uh, hollowed out. I forgot to do that earlier. This is where the redstone is going to go. Now, I am going to be um, merging it to this button. See, watch how it works. Oh, sweet. I'm going to be merging it to this button, which means uh, I've got to have a little bit longer run than I had created over here. Only by two blocks. Well, I guess technically only one block. So, I'm okay with that. I'm just going to knock this out for the moment. 
go. Okay, so the goal here, let's just for right this minute, the goal here is to bring this redstone around from the button and bring it right down the center. Okay, now we just need some repeaters. And these will be facing into the sticky pistons, so I find it easier to place them from up here. This is a really easy build. Now I could get all complicated and try to get it where the water would wash it down and a hopper chain will pick it all up, but you know what? Uh, I'm one person supporting just one person, so that just does seem a little bit ridiculous. Now, as you can see, they've all tied together. This is run around, so let's see if this works. Awesome. Okay, lay the dirt and we're done. How easy was that? I told you it was going to be easy. Uh, let's put a little diorite right here to cover this up. Now I'm, I'm deep enough down that this diorite won't uh, change that connection, which is really good news. Uh, I do also want stone here because we do like our pathway. And then dirt here. And here. Now I know a lot of people think you have to use put water down in order to grow melons. Uh, and watermelon, actually that's not true. You only need the water in order to be able to keep tilled earth tilled. But if you plant as soon as you uh, till it, it won't until just because there's um, no water near it which I think is really pretty cool. Now I do like a lot of light and I have found that sometimes if you don't have enough light the seeds won't plant. So let me just go ahead and light all this up. Now I know there are a lot of people that will tell you, oh you gotta change the walls, look all this stuff looks crazy. I don't care, this is about function not design. So one thing I'm you know, I'm gonna do, I, I really don't care what it looks like, for now anyway. That may change in time. So I'm going to get some bone meal and my hoe, and I may need to craft another hoe. Okay, so the the hoozy what's oh where are my seeds? Let's get those handy too. So this uh, the seeds are going to go here. I find I can do two at a time. Just plant. I'm only going to get one side done for right now, but as soon as I harvest enough to get some more seeds, I'll be able to complete this. Uh oh, see, you don't have much time to get it down. Okay, let's bone meal them. And I just, this just shortens the growing cycle. Now, I'm still going to have to wait a while for it to actually grow a melon. But uh, this will shorten that cycle. Here we go. Now the last thing I like to do is uh, I like to protect them so that I'm not walking on them. This this kind of keeps me from walking on them. Now technically, I don't suppose it matters. Um, I've walked across here without the uh, stones, and it did not it did not appear to break down the uh, which it the uh, the stalks. So technically, I don't, I mean, look, I'm walking on them, and they appear to be fine. I'm just not one to take a chance, so I'm going to put this here. And I can, uh, I can plant down here even with this in the way. So right now, just cover them up. Again, I'm not I'm not sure why I do this because it's really technically not needed. So, you know, I'm a belts and suspenders kind of gal, though. Um, you know, if a belt will hold your britches up and suspenders will hold your britches up, well, I I like belts and suspenders because I don't want my britches to fall down. You get that right? <laughs> I did tell you I was a geek, right? This is not, this is not coming as a shock to you, right? <laughs> Okay, I just also like to spam a bunch of torches down here. I want them to have the best growing opportunity they can. Now, let's test it again. 
You ready? Stand in one place. Hit the button. Both. Harvest at the same time. Sweet. Okay, that's my short video. Just wanted to share with you uh, what's going on over here at uh, Archimonde, uh, the new server I'm playing on. I'll be playing on Skyblock uh, on Cherry Vanilla later this week, and uh, I've got another big project coming up on the Geeky uh, Minecrafter server. So stay tuned. Uh, where am I? Hello. Hello. Did you lose me? Hello. Can you hear me now? <laughs> this is... Who am I? Minecraft Grand, the geeky Minecrafter. Thanks for playing. Happy mining. <laughs>